Chuck them all. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, the Prophet of God, the Bible, the Apostles, Elders, the Great Millstone, for patient brothers, pushing his word and truth and sincerity and charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. This is Brother Young Guy, coming from Great Millstone, Chicago. Camp, coming at you with another lesson. No one's edifying. Um, basically, going to uh, today's topic, trusting into the Lord, man. All right, we can never go wrong investing in uh, investing in the Lord. All right, you can't. And um, what basically inspired this lesson is the scripture that came to mind in the book of Sirach, chapter two, and verse ten. I'm uh, I should keep, I should read up. You know what, let me just read up. I'm gonna, point is 10 though. I'm gonna read it real quick. Cause this, this is a beautiful chapter. This is Sirach chapter two, verse one. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at that last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. It says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. All right, always trust in the Lord, man. No matter what we're going through, no matter where we at, what we're going to always uh, lean upon the Lord, not unto our own understanding. Just continue to fear the Lord. All right. He says, believe in him and he will help thee. A hey, scripture says, without faith, without faith, it's impossible to please him. You have to believe that he, <laughs> that the Lord got us, man. You have, you truly have to believe that. All right. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Scripture says, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for you. If you're not fighting for the Lord, what makes you think the Lord's going to fight for you? You know? It says, believe in him and he will help thee. He will help he will help thee and order thy way of right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, yet lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for the good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Alright? So believe in him and our board should not fail. Now here's the point. It says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right. A hey, scripture says everything written four times written for our learning. All these accounts, man. The Lord is getting 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 his men out of jams. Alright. Hey, 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 Daniel and the lion is there, man. Hey, uh, 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 Elijah was fed by the fed by the raven. You know? Hey man, you truly have to believe that the, that the, the Lord got us, man. The Lord got you. You have to believe it. Who has he ever despised that called upon him? A scripture says the, 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 the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it, man. Alright. <laughs> you can't a hey, hey, hey. Can't lean on to your understanding. Can't continue to, to trust and, and fear the Lord, man. Matter of fact, this Proverbs chapter three, verse five. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding." It says, "In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path." Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So continue hey, to, to fear the Lord, man, and to trust in Him. To hell what we think, and hey, we hey, we got the blueprint. All right, 
Hey, we, we this Proverbs 14 and 12 it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. So can't lean to what we want to think and how we feel. And no, we trust in the Lord. What does the scripture say? Alright. We have uh, basically man, you can't uh, 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 fear man. Fear the Lord, man. Trust in the Lord. The Lord's the one that put us in the jam. He's the only one to get us out. So we have to continue to fear the Lord and, and, and trust in him. Truly trust in him. All right. This is uh Psalms one eighteen and eight. It says it is better to trust the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. It is better to trust the Lord, man. To hell, to hell, everything else. You can never go wrong investing in the Lord. This is Psalms 115 and 11 it says, ye that, fear, ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. And you have to believe that, man. You truly have to believe that because without faith, it's impossible to please him. All right, so... I'm going to end off with that. I don't know it's an edifying lesson. Trust in the Lord. You can never go wrong investing into the Lord. You know, so with that, call along like y'all watching me. I'll shine. I'll